Bobcat Nation. Thanks for tuning in once again for another Bobcat Coach's Corner for the first time this year. Coach Steve Barsby joins us. Thanks for being with us, Coach. Not a problem. Now, we got you, of course, after your fall season's over. That seems like the perfect time to talk to you about tennis, yeah. right? Perfect time to talk a little summer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So tell me a little bit. We had, uh, you know, uh, our regular slate for the fall, a couple of tournaments, including the home tournaments and then the big ITA uh, regional stuff. Uh, let's start first with the guys' side, and, and what would you get from that? Uh, you know, this fall is, is such a tricky season to try and figure out because a lot of guys don't really bring their full rosters in. Yeah, no, we started out, we took three of the seniors up to Athens to uh, UGA as a big tournament up there. Southern Intercollegiates played a bunch of D1 schools, so that was, that was a lot of fun. Took three guys up there. Uh, you know, they did well. Uh, had, some, had a couple wins against some SEC teams, so that was nice. And then came back for our tournament. Uh, played well. Uh, we had three teams come in. Uh, solid. And then the ITA, we did, I think the, the guys... You know, we had a doubles run to the quarters. That was good. And then uh, we had two freshmen do real well in the, uh, in the B doubles uh, and in the B singles, which is uh, mostly teams four, fives, and six guys. So uh, it was nice to see them do well. Yep, you get the, the, the new blood in there as well as some of the old timers. Uh, how are uh, Johan Wadstein and uh, Victor Anderson and Tyler Frank's going to lead this squad for you this year? Uh, think, Coach? Those guys, are, those guys are unbelievable, both on and off the court. Great guys. Uh, we're gonna obviously miss them after this year, but you know the leadership qualities they bring to the freshmen and, and the example they set from work ethic at practice and all that is just is second to none. And it seems like those three in particular were, were displaying those leadership qualities as underclassmen as well. I mean, pretty well since they've, they've been on campus, correct? Yeah, no, they're good guys. Uh, uh, Tyler and, and, and Johan, Victor, from the day they've been here, they're very social guys, so they're not afraid to, and they're not, they're, they're very confident. And uh, so they've always been a part of the leadership of our team. And uh, this year, being the guys as seniors, uh, they've done a real good job. And their involvement in campus kind of helps out a little bit with the tenants over there at some of the tennis matches. I, b I believe these are some of the largest crowds we've had in our in our history, you know? Yeah, the, I think Johan and Victor on campus are a package deal. They're known as the Swedes. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they go many places without each other, but uh, no, they've done a good job getting involved. Johan's an at-large senator now with SGA, so he's really involved and really appreciates uh, being involved on campus and, and getting to give back, I guess, um, uh, through being involved with SGA and other things. All right, so uh, let's switch gears to the women's side. Uh, a lot of newcomers there, but uh, some injuries <laughs> have really kind of uh, – forced you into you know just a real small roster for the for the fall yeah we only had three girls play this fall we have we've had some injuries uh may had shoulder surgery in july and is coming back from that uh had a good conversation with paul higgs the other day and ben gearhart you know she's moving along real well and uh we'll be hitting tennis balls i think this upcoming week for the first time uh right. since the regional last spring and then we had a, a girl with school got in the way which is a great thing uh she's over doing study abroad in sweden uh, Michelle Lingner's over there with the nursing program, so she's having a blast over there doing real she well. She could have just stayed here. You got all these Swedes on uh, your team. What's that about? I know. I, they want to go back with her, I think, for a little <laughs> while. But, uh, but no, so that, you know, that's fine. In the fall, we're sort of just seeing what, what everyone has, so uh, not real too worried about it. But, no, the girls played well, the girls who were playing. All right, so uh, the, the three that you had in action, uh, Kayla Barksdale, Ivana Marovich, and uh, Katie Krupp. Uh, yep. let's, let's go to, to the new gal, Katie Krupp. She seemed to have a real good fall for you and, and kind of uh, got further into those tournaments than maybe even you might have expected. Yes, to. no, Katie played real well. Uh, got to the semis of, of the B flight and at the regionals in our tournament this weekend, played real well. Got to the finals of the top flight doubles with Kay. Uh, Works extremely hard, great kid, so been very, very happy with Katie. And uh, Evans, Georgia, Augusta area, that type of native, and that's where Kay Barksdale is from as well. Is that a, a pretty solid area as far as uh, high school and, and club tennis goes? Yeah, it's probably the, obviously the second best. Atlanta is by far True. the best in the whole southeast for tennis, but uh, uh, Augusta's got a very good tennis community, and, and you know we've had those two come out of there and, and you know, uh, Taylor Powell on our men's side came out of there as well. So a very good tennis area. 
Excellent. Okay. Well, uh, we, we got some more time. Let's, let's talk some hockey, of course. Got to well, do that, don't well, we? Well, I wish we could. Uh, you know, with the lockout going on, you know, millions of dollars on the table, I guess I can't figure out how to split it. And tell tell the folks because they, they may not know uh, that what's going on with, with hockey because well, I'm they're not fans of it. I, I'm sure that most people in Millersville, I'm surprised that with uh, – you know, the sports section in the paper, not leading with the hockey every day, but we'll see if we can change that around. I heard that there may be a second individual in Baldwin County that, that may purchase the <laughs> hockey package. Uh, tell us a little bit yeah, about Yeah, Mr. Hactel uh, in the uh, communications office is a big uh, New York Ranger fan and is, you know, hanging out in my neighborhood, lives by me. And uh, so uh, we might have to have a few discussions since Toronto and New York are sort of a sort of a rival. So, uh you know, we might get together, watch a few games, but it might get a little heated every once in a while. May want to talk to the NHL folks, put up a billboard <laughs> in your neighborhood, you know, because that's a real hot, hot uh, area for them. <laughs> it is, it is. I think uh, Log Cabin Road is, is the hockey hotbed of Baldwin County. So now uh, you got the end of the season here. You, you're, you're done until spring with some practices, of course, and, and everything in, in the middle. Uh, what are you doing with your time? Just, uh, you know, kicking back, putting the feet up on the desk? What's going on right now? Well, we're doing a little conditioning, living the dream a little bit. The players wish we were still playing, uh, but, uh, you know, we're allowed eight hours due to Ginger Chaffinch's compliance rules and, and the NCAA, and we, we get to let them be students, and, and we do a lot of conditioning. Uh, so, you know, the players – some days are fun, some days aren't, but, uh, you know, they're doing well, and, and we're trying to bring in a couple people maybe for January to see how that goes. All right. Well, working on finishing up the, uh, the spring schedule, so stay tuned to gcbobcats.com for a big release on uh, wh where you can find the, the Bobcat men's and women's tennis teams uh, in action in the spring. Uh, for Coach uh, Barsby, Al Weston, for the Bobcat Coach's Corner.